guys hope you are doing well welcome in the next video tutorial of event management system using flutter uh, in the previous video we have created this ui so in this video i'm not going to make any ui in order to save your time so what i have did i just already created ui and bind with the uh, get started button so if i click on get started button it basically redirect me toward the login screen and it have two tabs one is sign up and another is login so in this video tutorial we are, will be going to learn about how to connect our firebase project with the application and how we can authenticate our user using firebase uh, in this particular video we will be using email and password uh, authentication procedure so now let's start it first of all we have to switch towards the chrome and click on new tab and search for firebase user and then what we have to do is just click on add project and give it name to the project ems app click continue and select default account for firebase So yeah, our project is ready. Let's click on continue. So guys, we are redirected toward the dashboard screen of our Firebase project. Uh, currently, we are using uh, iOS simulator. So what we have to do is, first of all, we have to register our iOS app. For registering iOS app, we have to click on the iOS and and here we have to fill some information required in order to register our app first of all it is saying that app bundle id how we can get apple bundle id by clicking on the ios simulator and clicking on the right button and now let's click on open ios module in export so from there we will get basically uh, apple bundle id Let's wait for it to open export. So export is taking time to open. Now let's click on runner. And yeah guys, this is basically bundle identifier or bundle ID. So we have to copy this and inside Apple bundle ID we have to paste it all here. Register app. The other things are optional. So we don't have to provide right now. And the next thing is they are basically giving us Google service info plist file. And they are saying that make sure to paste inside my application inside Xcode. Click on download. So yeah, it's downloaded. Now click on next. And these are some uh, configuration for the native. So we are not on native, we are using uh, Flutter for it. So just click on continue, continue and we are all set up. So the next thing is we have to uh, <coughs> open this file. Let's, yeah basically it is there i have to copy this and click on runner this runner and we have to reveal it in the finder show in finder inside runner we have to copy our downloaded file but make sure if you have other version of google service Info plist file to remove the prefix. So it should be Google service info.plist. 
after pasting it over here we have to click we have to right click on the runner and click on add files to runner it will basically allow files that need to be added to the runner project so we have to select google service info plist file and click on add so you guys can see our file is located over here so uh, that that's all about uh, android sorry that's all about ios now let's move toward android <clears throat> i'm going to add an app that this time i'm going to click on the android and now it is saying that android package name how we can get this by moving towards the android manifest main so we can uh, get this file directly by tapping uh, double shift or we guys can go through the folder structure inside android app source main and yeah it is located over here android manifest dot xml and this is the package name for android version let's copy this and paste it over here the other two things are optional same procedure applies to the android google service json file okay and android you have to copy a few things from here it is written that uh, inside project build.gradle add this line so we have to copy and close this file double tap shift and write build so there are basically two files so one is android slash app and another is android so basically the below one is known as app level build.gradle file and the upper one is known as project level build.gradle file so we have to paste it inside project level now click on this and inside dependencies we have to paste it that way now and the next step it is saying that inside app module build.gradle file add this line again now that time in the app level gradle and paste the copy line at the very bottom of file so yeah guys we are set up with firebase now we have to complete the wizard so we have created our ios version and android version now let's enable email sign in method so for the very first time it is saying that get started and in our case we are using email and password as uh, authentication procedure so let's click on enable and save so yeah guys we are done with uh, enabling our or set up, setting up our environment for firebase authentication uh, now let's create or let's install few dependencies in order to connect in order to use firebase through our flutter application for this purpose, first of all, we have to open pubspec.ml file and uh, we have to install few dependencies from the pubspec. Uh, from the pub.dev. The very first version is Firebase underscore core, and the next is Firebase underscore auth. The Firebase core method, uh, the Firebase core plugin, is using for the setting. The Firebase Core um, plugin is basically using for setting up the Firebase environment with our Flutter code and Firebase Auth is using for authentication purpose. So we have installed packages successfully. Now let's move toward the main.dart file. Main.dart file. So inside our main function, 
<coughs> excuse me we have to initialize flutter widgets how we do that by widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized and then we have to initialize our firebase project firebase dot initialize app and then we have to await for it in order to use await we have to mark it async now we are successfully done with setting up environment with our firebase and flutter project now let's give it a run I got one small issue while running application on iOS simulator. It is saying that make sure your iOS version is set to 9.0. This is normal issue. Uh, you will uh, face this issue every time when you are making or you are configuring Firebase project on your Flutter application. So how to solve this? Just go inside iOS and set uh, and then click double click on port file and uncomment this now let's run application now let's try to convert it to the iOS 11 and now click run button iOS app is now running perfectly uh, by changing iOS version to 11. So we are completely set up by configuring Firebase application with our uh, Flutter application. So now let's move toward the authentication part in the next video.